Hey guys, Justice Egan here, excited to cut this short video for you and answer a question I've been getting asked a lot over the last uh, several days and weeks. You know, there's a lot of people that have come to me wondering whether or not they should change companies, you know? So today I wanna to talk about if you should change companies and when the time is right if you decide you should. You know, and this can apply to internet systems, it can apply to MLM, it can apply to products you represent online. The bottom line is, is majority of our industry suffers from shiny object syndrome. They move from thing to thing to thing, always hoping that the next thing is going to serve them or be better than the thing they were at. You know, the grass is always greener, so to speak. So today I want to give you three things you should consider before making any jumps, before making any moves. One is your audience and your network. You know, we've always heard people say, well, my warm market's burnt out because I've been in five or six or seven different deals. Well, I mean, think about it. If you were going to a restaurant and every day they changed their menu or you liked their service and they were always changing their staff or you like to go to a store, but they were always changing their product line or their messaging or their designs or whatever the case may be. Sooner or later, you'd lose confidence in, you know, just going there based on them saying, come on in or having a new product line launched or, you know, rolling out some new promotion, you'd, you'd start to say, wait a second, let me think twice because I've been down this road before. Your network and your audience is gonna function very much the same way. So make sure that if you're making a move, you're making a move to plant your flag, not just because you're afraid to, to miss out on an opportunity because it affects the way your audience and your network is gonna view you. Okay, and the confidence they're gonna have in the decisions and the things that you wanna promote moving forward. Second consideration is to really do your research. You know, a lot of times we get caught up in the excitement. And when you go out there and you do your research, understand this ahead of time, there's gonna be positive out there and there's gonna be negative. Every company out there has negative stuff. It's unavoidable. That does not mean that that's a reason to avoid joining a company. What it does mean is that you need to do your due diligence so that you can stand behind your decision, so that you can move forward with confidence, so that when the negative does come up, you can put your blinders on it, okay? And you can say, hey, listen, I did my research, I'm moving forward with confidence, because that stuff's gonna come up. That's just a reality, and it's already out there. You know, do your research so that once you make a decision, you can move forward with confidence. And lastly, you know, ask yourself, really dig deep and ask yourself why. Why is it that you're considering a change? You know, if you're considering a change because you see something out there that's totally in line with your passion, with your vision, with, with what you believe the marketplace is looking for, then great, right? Maybe you found a great company and the, re and the reality is, is that not all of us end where we started. Many of us come in the door in one place not knowing what else is out there and once we get exposed we may realize there's something better out there. My buddy Caesar says, you know, not everybody marries their uh, high school sweetheart and I, some people have to date for a little while and I totally agree with that. But if when you dig deep, you recognize that the reason why you're switching this time, why you've switched before, why you're considering switching is because you continue to believe that there's an easier route out there, that there's something that you can get results with doing the same thing right now that's not getting you the results you desire, then your decision may be slightly misguided, okay? It's coming from the wrong place. The reality is, is that your success in this industry is going to rely on you. You're the one that creates opportunity for yourself. It's gonna be you becoming bigger and better, growing as a leader, developing skills, and then growing other leaders, regardless of what company you represent, regardless of what product or system or service or anything that you represent. That is at the core of success. So if you see opportunity and you believe that opportunity is going to get you results, doing the same thing that you were doing before, okay, only because the opportunity is different, then I would reconsider, okay, and I would seriously look at, look, take a good hard look in the mirror, and I know that's tough love, and say maybe, maybe I need to do things differently, not just look for the answer elsewhere. And if you do find a situation where you're getting results, doing the same things that weren't getting your results someplace else, it's likely that those results will not be sustainable because they're relying on someone else. They're relying on something else. They're not built on the very skills that you've developed that have allowed you to become successful. So I hope you found this helpful. You know, so many people have, have been in limbo and asking me different questions. I figured I'd shoot a video on it. If you'd like for information on how to develop those skills, maybe how to generate leads online, that's something I can help you with. 
You can go to justicegan.com forward slash five steps, and I'll give you my five step si simple system to generating 20 to 25 leads a day online, and that can help you regardless of what opportunity, what system, what products you are promoting. So if you found this helpful, make sure to leave a comment below. Feel free to share. Go to justicegan.com forward slash five steps if you'd like to focus on developing skills that can get your leads online, and I'll be talking to you very, very soon.